You're like, I lost my pants. <laughs> I <dad."> lost <laughs> my pants. <laughs> oh, dude, I love westerns, yeah, man. What, you know, that's what I played in the lead of Bad Lane was the drum. <laughs> yeah, and, that's right. So they had a costume for me. And, they, and I finally thought, you know, all those years in college of practicing. Yep. Thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> You're like, being a drunk finally pays off. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I practiced all those years. Right. Hey, guess what? <laughs> yeah. That's when you want to call family and be like, you said it would never amount to anything. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can't say I never amount to anything being an old drunk. Yeah. Here I am. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was working with uh, on the, the – um, the Alita Battle Angels set like I would imagine there was a lot of just green screening around everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and you know when I started watching when I saw the movie in the theater, I was like, "Oh my gosh, none of that was there!" You know, uh, you know all that <laughs> spaceship looking thing, and you know the Iron City was there to a point, and then all of that background was computer image. You know, we're talking a two hundred fifty million dollar movie uh, shot in three D and and all that, and it's just. Everywhere you looked, there was cameras, and we got to see them rehearse a fight one night. You know, they they brought in like five extras, and I was one of them. We had to reshoot some scenes there when I was playing the drunk. But uh, you know, the big scene where uh, the uh, uh, the lady uh, Alita's fighting the, the lady in the red, and you know, her hands come out like knives. Yep, and all that. Yep. We got to watch them shoot that and rehearse that. And it's just amazing how much time they spent. Because a fight, is, no matter what time period, is really hard to shoot because all the different angles and choreographing it and making sure it's right. And you don't hit the other person, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, it takes a long time to choreograph. Like my gun fight that I have in my movie probably took half a day or more to film. And, mm-hmm. and we could have taken longer, but we just, my budget didn't allow for it. But, you know, just trying to get these shots of everything. And yeah. uh, by the time it's all said and done, we're, our gun fight's about 12, 14 minutes long, and it probably took the you whole know, 12 to 15 hours to film it. Wow. Yeah. It's always, I'm but, always you know, amazed uh, by the amount uh, or how little time it, people actually have to film these movies. Like, like even oh, the yeah. big budget ones, it's like, oh, this was filmed over 12 days. I'm like, 12 days? That's all you had? <laughs> well, and you realize, too, like yeah. like, like he said, you know, uh, five minutes of film is, is 12 hours of shooting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's mm-hmm. crazy. That's crazy. So, yeah, there's a scene in the sun where it's a, a graveyard scene. It took us eight hours to film it, and it was probably three minutes at the very longest. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, you're just like, wow, we stood out there and. Hundred degrees with three piece wool suit on all day long for that little bit, but right? you know you understand it when you get behind the camera and start shooting it yourself. And I would but, imagine uh, that's got to yeah. be the worst part is you like you're with these period pieces like eighteen hundreds. You've got multiple layers of clothing and you're out under the mm-hmm. sun for hours. Like that would be pure hell for me. That's what I'm saying, man. They should oh, do a movie brutal. about making movies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. it's it's, yeah, it's such brutal. a craft. The worst was. Uh, Last summer, I was doing uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, and I was one of the walkers, so you had this latex mask on out in the middle of this field, and the sun shining down, your weeds are up at your chest. I'm 6'5", and some people were disappearing, you know, in the weeds. You know, it's this big field that you would never think, I'm never going out in that, you know, and they put us all <laughs> out in there, and oh, uh, just, you you hold your mask on your with your hand, and then the sweat's dripping off your elbow yeah. while you're just waiting to go on the set. And uh, one of the assistant directors, he said, I thought I'd see what it's like and put a mask on and leave the for minutes. You know, because, you know, latex doesn't breathe. You put it on your face. No. Yeah, yeah you just, it's Hot. like gushing. And I imagine with the reeds and or the grass being up that high, that it's like a pressure cooker, right? It'd be so steamy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you get like Bugs. you get heat stroke, and you're like, ah, and you're like this guy's really <laughs> into his like, character and action. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, you're really looking like a zombie. Yeah, <laughs> just like, oh, oh. <laughs> that just kills <laughs> over. What's really weird is you know you don't realize until you start acting. You don't know what the temperature is when, the, when you're watching in the movie. You're thinking, oh, everything's 75 degrees. Everything's beautiful, you know, and all that. And yeah. Somehow all the grass is cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's 35 degrees, the wind blowing, you got to act warm. And other times it's, you know, 105 degrees. Yeah. We shot some saloon scenes in, my, in the movie Showdown. It got so hot, the camera kept shutting off. Oh, so wow. So we had to put it, put it in front of the ca- and the fan and let it blow for a while and let it cool down. We shot a scene on the river, which actually wasn't that one camera melting. 
But uh, I was I was lucky. I was in the river, so I was cool. Oh, yeah. Like everybody else was just dying. That's but, uh, crazy. Yeah, you just don't ever know the temperature when you when you see a movie film. You think everything's Hollywood and seventy five degrees. Yeah. But see, this is why I couldn't be an actor because like, if I was in something like that. Uh, I would just be the fat, sweaty guy that's just like constantly sweating. And, like, you're just standing there as a priest. You're like, ah, and they're like, dude, why are you sweating? It's like 35 degrees. Shh, 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 shh. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> why is your only character that you play Chunk from the Goonies? Yeah, <laughs> why? Why are you just the sweaty guy? <laughs> no, just you're hot like the women all the time. running up, dabbing your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have to... up, like, I've already been over there five minutes ago, and he's sweating again. <laughs> yeah, I'd be good for like one of those. Um... Uh, like Cleopatra time pieces where they're just like fans going like just keep fanning that guy yeah. it's okay we'll make it work yeah. <laughs> in fact yeah. in that saloon scene the, you can see our faces is sweating but it plays into the part but it was real sweat you know they didn't have spray any glycerin oil or anything like that on us to make it look like <laughs> and I had this overcoat on uh-huh. and the next day I'm looking at it and the sweat stains are on the outside instead of the inside <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the whole place just smells like an old gym bag. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Exactly right. Disgusting. You know, you see, talking about those movies we talked about earlier, you know, I, I'd get the one that smelled like an old smoky cigarette. You know, she walks up. You know, you don't ever know what what uh, the other person smells like on scene either. So, you know, just, yeah, uh, <laughs> that'd be even worse with the, with the heat and then cigarettes and everything. You're just like, what? <laughs> yeah, we kept, we had a scene. We had a couple of saloon girls and. Me and the other guy, we kept apologizing because we just knew we smelled like an old dirty horse outside or something. You know, just, <laughs> man, I'm sorry. And he's like, "That's okay, it's okay. Let's shoot the scene. Yeah, <laughs> just, like, just shoot it weird. so I can get out. <laughs> yeah, let's let's wipe the sweat off our hands and dripping off our fingers and let's move on. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that's crazy. Alrighty, so we want to get you into the next half of our show where uh, we've got our rapid fire questions with Maddie G. Rapid fire questions. <laughs> So for those of you who are joining us for the first time and uh, you're just uh, hearing this, uh, Matty G is going to ask Bill 20 quick questions, and he's just going to give us the first thing that comes to his mind. And favorite movie of all time? Tombstone. Favorite Marvel character? Marvel character? Uh, Iron Man. Favorite food? Uh, Ribeye steak. Favorite book? Lonesome Dove. Favorite DC character? Mm, Batman. Favorite song from the past year? Woo, favorite song from the past year. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that because I don't listen to modern day radio. All right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Name I listen a... to the 60s most of the time. Fair, yeah. Fair. Name a role you'd love to have. Oh, that role I'd love to have. Let's see. Uh, I'd love to be in Lonesome Dove mm-hmm. and probably play the part of Woodrow Caller or Justice McCray, one or two. Awesome. Beer, scotch, or wine? Uh, wine, I guess, since I'm sitting in my vineyard. <laughs> yep. I love beer, yeah. but I love wine, too. So let, I better say wine since I'm liking it now. Fair yep. enough. That's what people want to hear. <laughs> yep, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> PC or Mac? Uh, PC. Would you like to do your own stunts? Uh. I've, I broke my leg on set, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, nope, I'm out now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a no. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, poutine or fish and chips? But what was the first have, one? Have you ever had poutine before? No. Ooh, uh, it's like fries and gravy with cheese. Oh, no, huh? I'd have to do fish and chips. All right, all right fair. <laughs> iPhone or Android? iPhone. Yeah, interesting. Metallica or ACDC? ACDC. Handshake or a fist bump? Fist bump. Weirdest secret talent? Weirdest secret talent. Let me think. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pass on that one. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, top director you'd like to work with? Uh, the Coen Brothers again. Okay. Have you ever peed on something public? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Love Let's stay question. a country boy. You better have. <laughs> <laughs> All credibility goes out the window. <laughs> what, <That's right. laughs> what's your worst fear? What's my worst fear? Oh, gosh. 
How long is the show? <laughs> <laughs> I think you said it earlier. Yeah. Having somebody think your movie shitty, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yep. that, yeah. That would be it. Yep. Boxers or it. briefs? None. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a free balling man. That works. <laughs> that's the first person. No, briefs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, favorite podcast you've been on in the last 12 hours? This one, man. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> right on. Well, hopefully we gave you some laughs. Yeah. Uh, we do have, we do have another question for you, and it was from our last guest, okay. uh, actor uh, Patrick Harney. He has his question is: What is one thing that you would like to do and say that you've done that no one else can say they've done? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a Let's tough one. See. Actually, that is tough. Yeah, it is. It is because you start thinking of which mountains to climb, and now that people freeze death up there. Yeah, uh, that's true. Probably just dis- discover something, I guess. You know, yeah, fishing or something, and come upon a tribe of Amazon women or something. Nobody's ever. Been <laughs> That's right. Nobody ever talks about <laughs> it, never, even if they have done it. <laughs> never so. come That's home. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 These people never came home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, would you like to uh, pitch any social medias or uh, places where people can get a hold of you or check out any of your mail, uh, movies? You bet. You bet. I've got a Facebook page. It's just Bill Foster. Uh, we put a lot of behind-the-scenes pictures on there, and that's also where I post uh, uh, casting calls. Also, on Showdown on the Brazos on Facebook. Cool. And then uh, we've got a new one called I've Got Your Six, where that's a number six mm-hmm. uh, Facebook page. And so uh, that's our latest movie. And then, of course, I'm on IMDb. And just look up Bill Foster or Showdown on the Brazos. That's our two main things going right now. And so we always try to put as much information on there as possible. And uh, look forward to seeing the theater somewhere. Excellent. Well, we've loved having you on the show. We'll make sure that for all our uh, listeners who are driving, that we will post that up on our, our website as well as a uh, handsome picture of Bill himself. And uh, and if you ever need to uh, get in touch with him, you can uh, hopefully get in touch with him through any of his uh, social medias or try to get in touch with us and we'll reach out. And I thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Bill. Hope you have a wonderful night. Yeah, take care, Bill. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Enjoyed it. Bye. So well, this is a good time for us to pitch our social media. You could get us on our website. Thefap.ca. On uh, Twitter. Is the Fap 4 You can get us on Instagram. Is the Fap Podcast. Don't forget our Facebook. The Freaking Awesome Podcast. And uh, you can always reach out via email. Thefappodcast at gmail.com. I'm on the air. We on the air. We got this podcast. Ah, not again. Wicked sweet.